Hello, I'm Allison Sandwich from the WFT Newsroom. For Wednesday, September 28th, here's your News in 90. A measure to keep the government running for another year failed to pass the Senate. Democrats blocked a Republican bill to fund the government with another shutdown three days away. Democrats took issue with the lack of funding for the Flint, Michigan water crisis. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell offered a compromise agreeing to drop flood relief money for Louisiana and other states. Israeli President Revu Revlin said he will cut short an official visit to Ukraine to attend the funeral of former President Shimon Peres in Israel. Perez died earlier today, two weeks after suffering a major stroke. He was 93 years old. A former aide to Perez says his body will lie at the Israeli parliament tomorrow before a state funeral at the country's national cemetery in Jerusalem on Friday. Three people were arrested in Spain today on suspicion that they formed part of a cell that spread propaganda and sought to recruit militants for ISIS. Two others were arrested in Belgium and Germany in a joint operation. The Spanish Interior Ministry said the five arrested were working for ISIS by spreading information on several internet sites, including Facebook. There were no immediate details on the identities of the five arrested. Police in Washington state have confirmed an American flag dropped off at a fire station two years ago once flew at ground zero after the 9-11 attacks. Brian Brown, a flag collector, said he got the flag for free. The flag sat in his house for six years rolled in plastic and bound in rope. The flag is now on permanent display at the 9-11 Memorial in New York, a city Brown has never visited. He hopes to see his old flag one day. And that's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.